Hey guys, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I am teaching mom all about Gmail labels, what they do, how you can keep your inbox clean and organized by using these labels. Man, my wife wishes I had Gmail labels in real life because then my room wouldn't look like it does. This one's the computer edition. You're going to learn all about it on your computer. So let's get started. All right, let's organize our emails here so that our inbox doesn't look all messy like this, okay? Uh, I'm going to go through, and you can see mine's somewhat organized, but I've gone kind of crazy with the uh, labels. I'm going to show you how to clean that up a little bit too. That's why I used this email account so I can show you, because uh, it is kind of messy, so I can show you how to do that. But we're going to keep things organized with labels. We're going to move things into the appropriate folders. Where this is really handy. This is handy for emails that you may need to save or refer back to, um, things like that, things that you don't just want to delete, right? So maybe you have emails from your teachers you want to save or my business partners. I like to save those emails because they'll email me important documents and I may need to refer back to those documents. Like right here, this is from a business partner. I, need it, I may need to refer back to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a label for that category, for that business, that person, that school class, whatever it is, however we want to organize these, that you're going to have to use your own creativity and your own organizational skills to determine how to um, set that up, okay? But for the sake of, um, what's the word? For the sake of having an example to show you, I'm going to, not sure why that's opening, I'm going to set mine up. I'm going to organize all of my emails into a few categories. Okay, I'm going to organize them into, I don't know why. Maybe we need to teach mom how to turn off her alarms. My wife has this alarm that goes off every 10 minutes for like three hours all morning long. Anyways, um, so I'm going to set these up into a few categories. Let me close my door quick. My kids are going to school. It's getting loud in here. So I'm going to set them up into uh, three categories, family, business, and church, okay, is what I'm going to set my emails up into um, so we can keep things organized, okay? So these are the labels I've already created, but I'm going to make those cl more clean. And basically, let me give you an overview of what we're going to do, because you may get the idea of what I'm showing you, and you might be able to just kind of like go do it, right? So you don't necessarily have to watch the entire video. Although I hope you will because you might learn something. Um, but we're going to basically set up folders. So think of a folder as a bin. If you're new to folders, or I need to get used to calling them labels. I've just always called them folders um, throughout my life. But Gmail calls them labels. So think of a label as a bin. Of every. So let's say we set up a label for family. Every email that has to do with family that I choose to keep, I would throw in that bin. So think of it if, if physical mail came. Okay, you got, a, you got a mailbox full of mail. You bring that in and you have three bins or three labels, one for family stuff, one for business stuff, and one for church stuff it is just my example, right? You decide what categories you have. You would take that email that came in and you'd put it into the family bin or that physical mail, that letter. Then you'd take the one that was business and you'd put it into the business one and so on. And if it was junk, you'd throw it in the garbage. That's what we're doing with labels. We're taking all these emails that come in and we can automate some of this. I'll show you in a bit. But we're taking all these emails that come in and putting them into these categories. We're throwing them away if we don't need them. If we might need them later, well then we'll, we're putting them in the appropriate categories, okay? So let me show you how I do this. Um, let's first organize our, and this is, this is great. This is forcing me to get this inbox cleaned up. So let's first organize these into um, the main categories that I've told you that I was going to have, okay? So to do that, I need to come down here to manage labels, this setting, or I can get here under the settings icon here and go to see all settings and go to labels. Okay, so two ways to get there. I either, show you one more time, I'm either in the inbox and I come up to this gear icon, click settings, see all settings, and go to labels, or I'm in the inbox and I scroll all the way down 
you might have to click this more arrow scroll down to the bottom and you'll see manage labels okay click on that now once I'm in the labels these are all my labels that I currently have okay categories and and whatnot now I can create a new label right here under labels I can remove labels or I can edit labels so we're gonna create a new label we're gonna call this label family create it create a new label call this one business create it Oh, it already exists. Okay, so I don't need to create that one. But that's how you would create it. How many times is she going to have this? Okay. Then, I've turned off three alarms in the last 15 minutes, by the way. That's how many alarms my wife sets on her phone and then leaves it in here. Um, so business is already created, so I can cancel that. Um, let's make one for family. I may have already made one. Family. Create. Yep, it already exists. Okay, so I've got my three categories, but you'll notice I have a ton of other categories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to put these folders that I've already made into, or these labels that I've already made, into the broader categories of business, family, or church. Let's make the church one. I have them already. Yep, it's already there too. Okay, forgot I had made these. So let's go through and let's do this. So I've already got this one. I'm going to click edit and under here I'm going to nest it and move it to business. Okay. Save it. Then this one here, this is also business. So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to nest the label under and I'm going to move it to business. Okay, it's putting all these labels within the broader business folder so I'll, so that I have less labels or folders showing up over here. Now, if I'm creating a new folder and I want it to be a subfolder of business, let me show you how to do that. I'd click create new label and let's call it um, home. It's one of my companies, 2021. Nest that label under business. And now I create that sub folder or that sub label within the broader label of business. Okay, so go through and do this with the rest of these. Business, save it. This one here is Amy, that's my wife, so this would be family. Move this one under family. Okay. This would be business. You guys get the idea, I think. I'm going to go ahead and do this with all mine because I have a bunch of labels that I want to clean up. Um, you can pause the video and go create these labels and uh, organize them as you see fit for yours. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you how to move, how to move letters, how to move emails from your inbox into the appropriate labels or folders um, both by hand and I'm going to show you how to do it on autopilot if you choose to do it that way. I'll show you that when I come back but right now I'm going to finish organizing and creating all of the labels or folders that I want. I'll show you a couple more and then I'll just skip ahead and you can pause the video and go create yours and then come back when I show you how to move the the emails around and put them into these labels or folders. So this one here, this biz dev, this obviously goes under business. This is business. Save it. All right, you get the idea of how to do this. So go ahead and pause the video, set up all the labels that you currently want or need, 
and then come back in and I'll show you how to move emails into those folders and labels and how to do that on autopilot as well. See you in a second. Okay, I've got all of my labels or folders set up now. You should too. If you haven't, pause the video and go back and create the ones you want. I've got mine put into three main categories, family, church, and business. And then you'll see if I click these drop down arrows, I've got all the sub labels or the subcategories of each folder, of each label. Okay. Apologize for the crying three-year-old in the background. Now, now that I got these set up, now I want to take everything from my inbox and organize it into those folders if, if there's something that I need to keep. Okay. So as I go through this, I'll show you a few tricks. Okay. So this is something I need to deal with. So I'm going to star this so that it will show up here. And then when I come back and I decide to go through things that I need to do, I can do that. Okay. Inbox. Um, this is a business thing. Okay. So if I cl click on that little checkbox and then right here, hover over this where it says move to this folder and the arrow, move to wherever I want to move it. I'm going to move this into business. Okay. And then this here is an email from my children. Cut that out. Okay, and then this here is business. This here is business. This here is business. Obviously, if I wanted to um, delete, just delete these, I would just push the delete button. I'll go more into detail about that when I go over the, the trash folder. But I'll click move to business. These can be deleted. Business, business. Okay, that's it. So go through and add these to whatever labels you want to add them to, whatever folders or categories you want to put them in. Clean out your inbox that way or delete them if you don't think you ever want to see them again. Now, one little trick I just discovered that's pretty cool. If you hover over a folder here, you don't have to go all the way to manage labels to make changes to this. If you hover over one of your labels, and these three dots right here, you click on that, you have the option to remove this label, in other words, delete it, edit it, change the name, or add a sub-label. So for example, let's say I'm going through here and I want to put something in a sub-category. So um, let's say I'm going through here and I want to put something in a sub-category. So here's something, for example, let's say I want to put this in a sub-category so I select this, and this is going to be a subcategory of church. So I would, I would click move to, and I would create a new label. I'd call this bishop for emails that come from my bishop. Nest that label underneath church. Right here. Okay, click create. I could also create that subcategory by going here, add a sub label, wife. So emails from my wife within family. Okay, so do that. Go ahead and clean out your inbox now. Delete the ones you don't need or want and save the ones you might want later or things you need to keep records of. Business things, receipts school records, those are the kind of things that I keep records of through my email. And I honestly, I save a lot of emails because I can always come back here and use the search function and find an email from years ago that has saved my butt more than once. So go through and do that now. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if this was helpful. And please subscribe to Teach Mom How. Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.